guys got to play also Cat and JJ. What does Psychic Kim's Thanksgiving look like? You guys uh, you got to travel? You're staying close to home? What are you doing? Uh, we stay close to home. A lot of family activities going on. What Who do does- you eat? Do you eat Fun. like the normal spread or do you guys get crazy? Yeah, normal. I don't really eat a whole lot of that food, so I kind of pick and choose. But yes, it's all the good, healthy, you don't like turkey? joyful food. You're one of those. Okay. I'll eat. Yeah. Yep. Right. I, I, I realized that it's not good for my body. I go into inflammation mode. So, oh, got it. yep, I hey, got to eat clean. I got to tell you, like, I'm on the fourth day of this fast, and mm-hmm. I have zero inflammation left in my body. He's hardly talking to anybody about it. It, it's, it feels so good. Like, I just, I have all of these old injuries from being a mediocre athlete, and I, nothing hurts on me anymore. It is really, really cool. So, you can uh, change. Yeah, that. fasting can do wonders. It's amazing. Let's talk to Felicia. Hi, Felicia. How are you feeling today? Overwhelmed but excited. Oh, all right. Well, you got Psychic <laughs> Kim. Let's uh, let's purge a little of this overwhelmed feeling. What would you like to talk about today? So when I got married to my husband four years ago, my parents are totally against it. They um, disowned me and him. Wow. He's not allowed on the property. There's, it's just been a mess. And I'd want to know if the relationship will ever get reconciled. <laughs> this is deep. Kim, what are you yeah. feeling? Both. I get, I hear the word cordial, so at some point things will be cordial, but I, I have a hard time, who would have cry? I have a hard time seeing everything, what I would call be normal or be okay. It's more so you are really learning um, how to stand up for yourself and what you need for you um, and putting yourself first. So. I appreciate that, but also it's very hard to lose your family because I feel like there's still a lot of love there and a lot of care and compassion. And it's not about him. There's there's more to the story. Um, I could literally probably talk for an hour on this issue, to be honest, uh, is kind of what I'm getting. But it's understand there's going to be cordial times. Like I, I could get pulled to a family function and you could be in the same room, but there's not talking. Yeah. So. I don't, yeah. Hey, Felicia, you don't, you don't have to answer this, but I have to. The first question I have to know is, like, what, what, what caused all this? Why is there such a rift? Um, well, we have a 25-year age gap to start with. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm his third wife, and uh, he's done time in jail. And my parents just aren't used to that. <laughs> right. No, yeah, I, I guess I, growing yep. up, you know, you're raising your kid. You're like, I would love for them to be with this type of specific person. And you have that cookie cutter image, but you went way outside that mold. Yeah, and if, for sure, it's just those three things. Like he didn't do anything to them to get on their bad side. They're just judging him. No, they, no. When we were dating, and I, I knew it was a lot. Like we wanted to take them out to dinner to eat, to, to let them ask all their questions, and you know, do the parent thing. And they said no. That they thought it was oh. a trap, and I felt like if they ignored it, it would go away. But now we're married four years later, and I don't Aww. see us ever getting a divorce. So, wow, that's I don't know if there's any scenario that I could not talk to my kid. <laughs> Yeah, this so. is a tough one. So hang in there. It sounds like eventually you guys will uh, break down some of the barriers. But uh, I suppose that's better than nothing, right? Yeah. Yeah, I yep. got you. All right. Well, good luck, Felicia. Really? What? That was a really serious situation. I know it was. But he, he, listen, how many Felicias do you get to call your radio show that She'll you could use? She'll call again. Them? She'll call again. Well, I had it queued up and I had to use it. All right. I got time for one more. Hi, Danielle. How you feeling? Hi, I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Now... You want to know about a potential third baby? Is that what you're asking about? Yeah. Yes, me and my husband have two healthy, happy kids. And I think my husband is content with just our two. But sometimes I have that initial longing for a third. And I'm just wondering if that is the right decision or what our future looks like. Kim, her loins are screaming. (laughs) Should she have another baby? (laughs) Uh. Uh, hmm. This is a lot of pressure, I'm by the way, Kim. Mean, right. No, <laughs> no, I, I I can tune in a few different ways when it comes to children. Um, sometimes I can actually see an energy like a spirit wanting to come in right away. And it's like, okay, you have somebody there that really wants to come in. Other times I'll get images of like a belly bump, baby bump. Um, and I'm not getting either of these. 
Um, you are correct. Your husband is content, but he would totally welcome in another child if you did get pregnant. I will tell you that. But when it comes to you guys having another child, um, <laughs> this is what I'm going to tell you. If you are, it's not going to be right away. I hear, oops, I did it again. Uh-oh. Um, so if anything, it's going to be one that will come a little bit later where there's a little bit of a gap and um, wasn't planning on it. They're like, that's how the next one should be. Um, it's not set in stone, but it's not supposed to be anything like planned. Can we stop insinuating that babies so. are accidents? Like you can avoid, Sometimes they're they not, av- but- they are very avoidable. I have avoided it for 11 years. I think that's because uh, if you want to have I one, think God sees how bad one. of a mother you are for this one and doesn't oh, want to. Yeah, we can't do that again. <laughs> well, it's kind of like, trying, when, you know, you go. I have I have somebody I know who went to Vegas and it's like, you know, you, you do everything to protect yourself. And um, nope. boop, no. some somebody sneaks skin and it's like that's that's a that's Him a soul stop. that really wants to be the here. best goalies get scored on. <laughs> Okay. The best goalies get scored right. on. So, uh, Danielle, looks like you guys could, should, maybe will want to, but I it probably w- won't happen right away. What situations are you putting right. yourself in where your, your, you know, tubes are crying, where you're just, like, longing for a baby? Are they baby showers? Maybe you don't go to baby showers anymore. Um, no, I think I've just always jumped up two to three kids, okay. and my oldest is now um, in preschool, so getting older where he's out of the house more, and full days at school and my youngest all of a sudden it just seems like he kind of grew up overnight and I missed that baby stage. She's and yeah. bored. You're having- bored. She's not bored. I know what you're saying. You love the smell of babies. I love the smell of babies, but then I love the smell of money. I love the I smell love of money. other people's babies at this point. So uh, go on with your bad self and uh, go get pregnant, Danielle. Okay, sounds good. She's just going to take my advice. Don't She's do like, it right what now. What about that guy on the radio said? I'll just go get knocked off. All yeah. right. Congratulations.